This segment is brought to you by GoToAssist Express. There are a lot of power users out there, kind of like Darren, who don't really use the start menu or, well, their mouse. They just want to be able to put in a couple of keystrokes and immediately get to the program that they need to use. Luckily, there's this nice, simple utility called Launchy that does just what Darren needs. Launchy is a free cross-platform utility designed to help you forget about your start menu, the icons on your desktop, and even your file manager. It indexes the programs in your start menu and it can launch your documents, your project files, folders, and bookmarks with just a couple of keystrokes. Launchy can be found over at launchy.net, where you can download, donate, and check out skins and how-tos. The skins on their website, let me pull over that website right here. Okay, those skins kind of remind me of the days of Winamp, so I just decided to go ahead and stick with the little black skin. It's very nice and simple and sleek. The download is available for Windows all the way up to 7, Mac, Linux, as well as a portable version. After downloading Launchy, all you have to do is open the main window and type in a program name or something that you want to find and press enter. So for example, I want to find, uh, I want to find Skype. So it shows me the icon, it highlights Skype and I can just click enter and it should open up the program for me. I'm going to wait for it to open a couple of seconds. Beautiful. It should automatically open up the program, and if you find that it doesn't work, you can click on the Settings tab. Let me pull that up. Choose Settings. Oops. And go to Catalog. From here, you just have to click on the plus button, and you can highlight whatever folder or directory that it, you want it to add into its category and you click Rescan Catalog and it f should find all the new files for you. Now there's a couple of extra keystrokes to know. Alt plus space will open and close the launchy window. So if I have my Google Chrome open, I can just hit Alt space and it brings it up to the front. There's also, uh, when you type in something, then hit the tab, we'll start a sort of command line entry. For example, if I type in Chrome and then a website, it should take me automatically to that website. So I'll type in, I'm gonna try the Hack5 website tab. It finds Google Chrome, asks me run, and I'm gonna put in the Hack5 website. This is kind of cool. It actually brings up a new tab instead of a completely new window, which is very handy for me, and it looks like it works. You can also check out all of your history of searches by pressing down when the window is blank. So I'll blank out the window, hit down, and I can look at all of my history of all of my searches that I did. You can press shift plus delete to delete any highlighted program in that list. So I'm going to delete, I'm going to choose Skype. So shift and delete. Just deletes it right out of there. It's nice and easy. And also, you, to add some kind of functionality for other types of programs, you can go to the Catalog tab underneath Settings. And over on the side under File Types, after you've highlighted uh, the folder that you want to add some file types to, you can click Plus and type in whatever kind of file type it is. For example, um, I want to add I'll do mp3, so I'll do star.mp3 to add all mp3s. Hit enter, and then rescan the catalog again so it refreshes and it adds all the new file types. Along with the healthy dose of easy GUI is a handful of plugins for your mere enjoyment. The Launchy website features many plugins to make the utility easier to use and more useful, including a built-in calculator, a website browser, and a program killer for background programs. I think this is a really handy tool for those users that need something to help them speed up their daily processes just a bit by giving them that freedom to not have to use the mouse, like Darren. Also, the portable version, which I think is really awesome, would be really handy for any IT support who don't necessarily know where programs are on each of the computers that they have to work on. Booting up this tool and searching for a program is pretty much as easy as making my delicious sweet tea, which I could really use some of right now. Anyway, send me an email at feedback at hack5.org with your comments on Launchy. Coming up soon, we'll be answering some viewer questions, but first, let's take a break and check in with Darren for the nibble. Noms. 
There are two things IT professionals and their clients have in common. That's that they want the job done right and they want it done fast. And that's why I highly recommend GoToAssist Express by Citrix to anyone in IT. It puts clients at ease with its simple and secure remote support and puts you in a position to do what you do best, access, diagnose, and resolve. Try GoToAssist Express free for 30 days. Visit gotoassist.com slash hack5 to see how you can deliver live tech support to anyone, anywhere with GoToAssist Express. That's gotoassist.com slash hak5 for a free trial. Alex submitted this tip over at hack5.org slash nibble. He wrote, need access to a file on an FTP server, but you're on a machine that doesn't have, you know, you can't install programs, or you don't have your all singing, all dancing USB flash drives of portables. Well, by using the full address FTP colon slash slash before the beginning of your host name, you can go ahead and access it through Firefox, Chrome, IE, even Windows Explorer. So thanks so much, Alex. I'd like to also point out that the syntax for this can also be used as FTP colon slash slash the username colon password at, in this case, localhost. or your IP address or your domain or whatever, colon, your port number, mine's default 21, and then you can even do slash directory, so. And there you go. Oh, hey, look at that. Username and password on localhost with directory. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks so much for sending that in, Alex. Totally appreciate it. And you can get your own Hack5 swag by submitting your four bits over at hack5.org slash nibble. Trust, Trust your, your techno, techno lust. lust. <laughs>